that's a good one that this one is going to roll right to Lombard. He has trouble picking it up at about the 22, breaks a couple tackles, and he eventually gets taken down by the kicker, Christian Julian, at about the 33-yard line, and now that's where the first drive will start here for Plymouth State. This year, Westfield State, one and six, Plymouth two and five. Third and seven. They are in Owl's territory. Lynn looking right. Now he dumps it off to the left to Lombard. He crosses the 30 and he gets in the red zone and a big gain, first down and more as he gets taken out of bounds. Those are your standings as of October 28th here late in the season with playoffs kind of right around the corner. Here's Len looking left, now he looks right. He looks end zone and the pass is caught by Donahue for the touchdown. Jake Donahue got a couple receptions on this drive and he's left wide open in the back of the end zone. Yeah, it looked like Donahue was lined up in the slot. 287, and that is his fourth touchdown of the year. Looks like it's going to be Jake Marsden to hold, and the kick is up, and the kick is good by Seth DeSalvo there for the PAT. So it is a 7 to nothing lead here for Plymouth State. We'll take a quick break. Knocking on Heaven's door. They're at the one-yard line. Jordan Smith getting that last carry. Here's third and goal now from the north end zone. Fernandez hands it to Smith. He leaps over the goal line for an Owls touchdown. Jordan Smith adding on to his total. That's his third TD. And Gabe Fernandez in the sideline fired up. And Westfield gets points on the board. Cooper Harvey back to kick. And Owen Thompson the holder. Cooper Harvey, the freshman from Niskayuna, New York. Looking to attack on the PAT. Low snap, and but no pressure. And that one is right down the pipes. Cooper Harvey delivers the PAT. And it is a tie game now, 7-7 seven to seven here from Westfield State. Second and 10 from the 14. Lynn. Play action, now rolls left, has pressure from behind. Pass is intercepted by Julian. Christian Julian to the 40. Pass to 50, now in enemy territory. And he eventually gets taken down at the 35 yard line and Christian Julian, his second interception today. Ball is at the Panthers 34 yard line. Smith in the backfield after the Julian interception. Play action. Fernandez, looking to Smith, he's wide open. Pass is caught and he eventually get, goes down at the 12 yard line. Oh, if he did not stop, he might have had it. Second down for the Owls. Fernandez, looking end zone, touchdown, Westfield State. It's Owen Thompson, and the Owls have the lead. Owen Thompson in the corner of the end zone. A can of corn for Gabe Fernandez, who's been on his A game this entire day thus far. Cooper Harvey back to attempt the PAT. Owen Thompson to hold. Last time it was a low snap for the PAT. This time it's right on point. And the kick is blocked. And it's picked up there by Luke Normando in the end zone. He's going to take this one. Why not? As time runs down, that's Joe de Blasi. He flips it out, actually. It's pitched. And Plymouth State is going to take this one all the way. Flags back towards the other end zone but it looks like it's going to be Evan Wilson to return this one to the house, but we've got two flags. Yeah, I think this is gonna come back. It looked like a forward pass on the lateral. I mean, yeah, you have the big play by Christian Julian on the other side of the field, and his roommate, Owen Thompson, get, getting the touchdown pass. A little roommate to roommate connection. Look at he that. Helping each other out. It's good to see Westfield State leading this one 13 to seven as we enter halftime here from Alumni Field. Boy, if you're tuning in, you're turn it, tuning into a good one. Westview. It's going up against Zach Allen there on the near side, but again, it's handed off to Lombard, who bounces off a tackle, gets inside the five to the pylon, and he's in for the touchdown. Willie Lombard, his first TD of the afternoon, and Lombard is able to punch that one home for his seventh rushing touchdown of the season and Plymouth State has tied it 13 all. He's able to just get a good angle there on that run to the outside. Jack Marsden to hold, 
and the kick by Seth DeSalvo is good. And now that blocked PAT has come into effect because now Plymouth State has a 14 to 13 lead. Fourth and 13, if Westfield can get a stop, it'd be huge. But a first down could really dampen things here at Alumni. 2.08 to go in the fourth, fourth and long for Plymouth. Lynn play action, under pressure, scrambles right. Lynn at the 40, he's got plenty of time, now under pressure, flushes the pocket, gets free, and he is short. Looks like go the first down, and looks like Westfield State's gonna get a stop. Yeah, let's see if Fernandez can lead the Owls down to score. Here is Fernandez, looking middle, pass is caught at the 50 yard line and a lot more. Gets taken down at the 45 yard line. Big gain there for Casey Tang. Casey the, Tang just ran a seam. A big moment here for the Owls. Fernandez looking upfield, Hervang looking right, and he's gonna scramble and take it himself. He beats one defender, he's inside the 30 yard line, and he runs out of bounds to stop the clock. Here he is, first and 10 from the 28. After the drone timeout, we return. Big play for the Owls here, first and 10. Fernandez looks deep for Thompson, pass wow. is caught inside the 10 yard line. He didn't get out of bounds, so the clock runs. But Westfield State gets inside the 10 yard line to the eight. Put first. sit on the ball and drain out the clock, but we'll see. They have options, Fernandez is under center. They give it to Smith. Smith runs up the middle. He reaches for the goal line. And he's in for the touchdown. Jordan Smith punches it home, his second TD of the day. And Westfield is up with under a minute to go in the fourth. They're gonna go for two here. They gotta get the playoff. They look, end zone, Thompson drops it. In the end zone, they had to get rid of the snap because the play clock was winding down. And Thompson was wide open, yet he couldn't corral it. 7.4 remaining. Lynn looks upfield, surveys, time winding down. He looks to the end zone with the Hail Mary. Pass is... Caught for the touchdown! Plymouth wins on a walk-off Hail Mary! Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow! Game over! Panthers stun the Owls! Plymouth State walks it off with a Hail Mary. Those are the plays you dream of as a kid to be able to do that in college. Do we get a number on who made that catch? Hasn't updated quite yet, but Plymouth State with a one point win. I mean, Brady Lynn had to have thrown that ball of like 50 yards. Yeah, oh, he chucked it. What a play. It. What a throw in the confidence. Jacob Morris with the 53 yard touchdown reception and what another heartbreaker at home here for Westfield State. You had the OT loss a couple weeks ago and now you have this, and that is a 53-yard touchdown reception in walk-off style. Lynn for the touchdown, and it's a one-point win for Plymouth State. What a game. Wow.